Today's video shows how to create and solve a model using the Excel add-in for Microsoft Solver Foundation 3.0. Uh, goal today is to show a very simple, clear example of using the add-in for Solver Foundation. So what is Solver? A solver is a set of tools for mathematical simulation, optimization, and modeling. Uh, I'll talk more about the capabilities at the end of this demonstration. There's two forms uh, of Solver. One is an Excel add-in, uh, which we will demo, and there is also a .NET programming API. The initial state is that we have uh, information about the marble types. The problem type we have is a logical implication. And the problem statement is that we have a bag of marbles, and you want to know how many marbles of four different types uh, there are in the bag. Uh, there are Aggies, Steelies, Reels, and Tigers. And um, the minimum and maximum number of each marble type is represented by the uh, uh, columns, min, max, that uh, we have in the, in the worksheet. Uh, there's a few simple constraints that will help us to determine the number of marbles and we'll get to that later. Uh, the first thing you want to do is create a set. We will give it a name. This is an arbitrary name. We'll call it marbles. And you click in the upper section of the pane in order to save uh, the model elements that you enter in. Uh, if there's errors then they'll show up in the lower section in the lower pane. Next, we create some parameters to be used as input uh, to the problem. So we are binding input data to these parameters so we can use this later. The first parameter we create, we'll call it low. I uh, click this button to open the binding editor. In the binding editor, you for, for the set, you select marbles. Uh, for the column header, we uh, select types. For the value field, min. The uh, next parameter we call high, and uh, we do the same thing. Uh, data type is non-negative integer. As before, um, the set we select is marbles, the column header, types, the value field. This time is max. Next, we need a decision. Uh, so we click over here, we create a decision uh, called marbles. So what is a decision? The decision decisions are variables. They are values that the solver should determine and will show up in the solver report as the solved values. Uh, we will bind this decision to the set named uh, called marbles. And we'll take a look briefly at OML in the OML tab. Um, this uh, OML is the optimization modeling language, and whatever you create in the user interface will uh, have some representation in the modeling language. So we want to create three constraints uh, which uh, limit the possible solutions to this model. First constraint, we iterate on the set of marbles and uh, um, we use the minimum maximum values that we uh, defined in the parameters. In this simple problem we could create the constraints right here uh, without reading in the data but in this demo we want to show how to use data binding so uh, we're going to read in the information from the spreadsheet. Second constraint we know that the uh, number of steelies is equal to uh, two times the number of tigers, which is also equal to three times the number of reels. Third constraint, we also know that the number of tigers plus the number of steelies is equal to the number of aggies. So 
So the next thing we do is we want to create a goal. Um, in this model, we're going to create a goal that minimizes the number of Aggies in the solution. So if there are multiple solutions, um, sometimes uh, you will want to minimize or maximize values to give you an optimal solution. So then we're going to um, check the model. We click the Solve button, and the Solver Foundation results appears, and this shows us that the solution type is optimal. And uh, we see the number of Aggies, Reels, Steelies, and Tigers. Microsoft Solver Foundation is intended for quantitative analysts, mathematical modelers, risk managers, and application developers. Uh, you can use Solver to solve uh, linear models, nonlinear models, quadratic, uh, mixed integer linear models, compact quasi-Newton, and constraint satisfaction uh, type models, and others. That's it for today's demo. Thank you very much.